What's up, everyone? Happy Tuesday. We're over here chilling. The garden. Sun is hanging out. We're out on a bike ride. So I just showed a property over here in Garden City. And uh, if all goes well, my new Facebook friend is hopefully watching and will accept our offer and uh, give this young couple uh, a shot at their first home, which is the best part of real estate. Um, when you get that young couple their first home and realize what uh, it means to them, just starting out in life, building their uh, legacy, uh, that first home is really, uh, that young couple first home is really the coolest part of real estate to me. Um, so fingers crossed, hopefully we get it done. And uh, we had to get the ride in. Uh, I've been working all day, uh, showed over in Elmont. Um, Got an offer over in Merrick. Uh, real estate market is super busy. Uh, did pictures over in Rockwell Center this morning. Uh, had meetings all day. So uh, we've been running. But now we're over here. I think a Garden City Hotel. There's a leg pole in there. That's the Garden City Hotel there in the background. Old Glory's flying above me over there. That's a beautiful sight right there. And uh, I'm going to get you a message of the day. So I tagged on here my buddy Sammy Smith and Josh Thomas. Because I was listening to their podcast. It's actually Sammy's podcast, Small Business Surgeon. Josh was his guest. Uh, I was on Josh's podcast not too long ago. And I was on Sammy's also not too long ago. And uh, a couple key points. Uh, I didn't finish listening all the way through. But um, the first one Josh talked about is Sam said, hey, um, who is Josh Thomas? And Josh answered with, uh, basically, um, you can't define a person. Um, that people are constantly evolving. So it's really hard to say who you are because we're constantly evolving. And I think that's a pretty cool concept to talk about. Um, we are not who we were when we were 10. We are not who we are were when we were 20. We're not who we were when we were 30. We're not who we were when we were 40. We change every day, every year, hopefully for the better. And we learn new skills and we hopefully keep uh, educating ourselves along the way. And so if someone asks, you know, who are you, um, there's an evolution that's constantly going on if you're doing it right. So how do you pigeonhole yourself into this is all I am? I don't even know what I am yet. Um, every day, you know, five years ago, a little, yeah, about five years ago, I didn't know I was going to be a real estate agent. And now I have a team of agents and we're selling millions of dollars of houses every year. Um, if you asked me 10 years ago if I was a real estate agent, I would have told you no. And now I am. Uh, it's kind of like that joke, right? Couldn't spell it, but now I am one. But um, um, I didn't know this was my path in life. Um, back in the day, from 20 years old, if you would have said, are you a dad of six kids? Definitely would have told you I was a dad of six kids. And uh, that's what life brought. And I uh, wouldn't change it for the world. So think about that. If someone says who you are, don't uh, identify yourself by your current career, by your current situation uh maybe someone will say they're divorced maybe someone will say they're a single dad maybe someone will say they're unemployed as a then as a definition of who they are and it's important that that is not who you are you are a loving uh caring human um you're smart you're intelligent you are ever changing or ever learning ever learning ever growing um don't pigeonhole yourself into a to a certain place don't uh stop allowing yourself to grow so that was just something cool that was an interesting concept uh rather than saying hey i'm a real estate agent no i'm brian i'm a lover i'm a supporter uh i'm a grower um helper and uh that's stuff that keeps growing so that was interesting and the other one the other thing he talked about was um they did a uh Raised by Wolves road trip. Uh, we talked about it on my Monday night podcast a bunch of episodes back. And he said the key takeaway from that was a bunch of guys got together and they realized that their uh, family life growing up wasn't ideal. And a lot of the issues and stuff that uh, they've had in life, um, mannerisms, reactions, is that little kid inside them trying to get out. Because um, I guess they weren't supported by their parents in a way that they wish they would have been. And here they are, you know, 40 something years old or whatever, and it's still affecting them 
uh, the way they were parented. So that's how important parenting is for us to be there for our kids, um, to support our kids, to guide our kids, uh, to be an example for our kids. God knows uh, I haven't been a good example at times for my kids, and uh, I try and do better with that. Um, we are an example for our children, and we must realize that. Um, if we're fighting with our spouse, we need to stop. We need to do it in private. If we are drinking too much, we can't do that in front of our kids. Uh, if we are, I don't know, whatever you're doing, don't do it in front of your kids. Support your kids. Show up for their games. Show up for their dance recitals. Um, it's really important. And uh, I need to get better at it myself. Um, a lot of times I let life get in the way, work and whatnot. There's six of them. There's always something for me to do something for me to go um, and he basically just wanted to bring out how important it is that we are examples for our kids they were always watching us they were always learning from us and we need to give them the best example we can so keep that in mind when you're around your children uh, go give to your children um, they are our legacy and sometimes we forget that or sometimes we forget how important it is to set the example so we all must do better so John Miller just jumped on. John's great to see you. John's uh, stepson, uh, we're trying to get him a home here in Garden City. If all goes well, we'll try and make that happen. Uh, I was saying when I first got on how cool it is for that young couple to buy their first property and how excited they are, and how cool it is. Oh, there's Sammy. What's up, bro? What's up, pal? Long you doing time, all right? No, uh, no uh, co-bonding, you know? Dude, I was just driving home and I saw the notification, so I just, just ran to the house real quick. Thought I come talk. What up, man? That is a that is a treat, bro. That's a treat. So mm -hmm. uh, we were just talking. I was listening to your podcast. I was doing my ride with Josh, and uh, we're talking about uh, a couple of cool things. The thing we talked about is that we don't define ourselves by, you know, where we are currently. That we're ever growing. I thought that was a pretty cool concept, right? And um, yeah, it's difficult around yourself. Comparing yourself to people that are better. You gotta remember yeah. that all the time, man. It's that's tricky. Yeah. That's tricky. It can, it can be hard to uh can be hard to feel like a like like a winner when the rest of the guys around are all doing bigger numbers than you. But like yeah. you can't get to look where you come from. Like uh 100%. you know, I, I've had the realization recently that um yeah you know, my time going to the bar and hanging out with the bar friends, um, I got sucked back into that world a few weeks ago when a close one of them passed away. And I never felt so out of place. It's like mm. I've outgrown my old friends. And now I compare myself to guys like you and guys like Josh and guys that are out there setting records. And those are my benchmarks. That's my, that's my floor. You know, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the old ceiling's the new floor, man. And, 100%. Uh, you know. freaking, freaking blessed over here. So that's pretty yeah, good. Man. No, you're killing it. I love it. I love watching it. And obviously, <laughs> you, you inspire me, man. I watch you killing it. And I'm like, shit, I'm slacking. I better get going. <laughs> you know, I'm wondering, I'm, I'm thinking I may even sell my real estate company and just focus yeah, yeah. on focus on what I can do to impact the community. Um, you know, the media company's doing well. And um, I keep feeling like I, I got to go make an impression on the community and start doing more uh, more charity work and more, more giving You've work. You've been listening to my message, right? You put your head on a pillow every day knowing you're making the world a better place, man. And that's my message every day. <laughs> my message every day. Uh, Honestly, you know, like, stand out in the crowd. Like, everyone can be average. Everyone can go through the motions. What do you remember? The people that do things that are out of the box, that change the world, that make the world a better place. And that's, you know, that's what I strive to be. I, I don't want to be the average person. I want to be someone, when you say my name, like, oh, yeah, he's a good dude. He did this, that, and the other thing and helped a lot of people in his life, you know? <laughs> Legacy. That's all I want. Is just, he, he was a good guy, man. He, he a good came, guy, you know? did good work, and then, uh, like, cause, you know, it, it, it's essentially what do you – you get the date you're born and the date you're dying, and you get the dash, and it's, it's what you do yep. in the dash. Thing. Make that dash count, you know, and, and don't let it be a dash to the finish line. <laughs> right? that's, that's what a lot of us are doing, you know, a dash into the finish line, working every day, grinding, not, not living life. I'm asking a lot of years not living life, and I'm sure you did. You know, whether it be uh, spending time in a bar, spending uh, – wasting time and money or uh, can, working to a million hours a day, you know, trying I to grind it. You know. How much time I spent in a bar as a kid, dude. It was every single day, like all the time. And, 
yeah, I, I much prefer spending the time with my boys now and uh, spending the time actually building stuff. And then I look yeah. around and I get all my daily tasks done. And I still have a little bit of free time to sit on the porch yeah. and hang out with you. you know? It's yeah, all right. Yeah. You got to build that free time into life. You can't grind all the time. You want to burn yourself out. I know we've, we've both been there. It's so strange. I, I, I never thought that way about the bar scene. I've been slowly eating it for the last few years. And I was thrown right right back into it a few weeks ago and i i just don't fit there anymore man yeah. people nobody's going to the gym nobody's talking about business nobody's taking care of themselves it's like wow that's a you whole know, it's, uh, it's kind of sad actually uh you know we, my family owns a bar in town and there's a couple of lost souls that come in there and it's you know, i mean really they have nothing and i don't know if it's a chicken or the egg if it's cause or the effect um but like, you know, they don't have anywhere to go. They don't really, that's their family. These guys come there every day and, you know, they're good people. You know, I love them. I mean, it's, they're great it, people, but it's just. It's bar I go to or, or used to go to. Yeah, it's the same as a, a lot of people there that are like, they're, they're like family. But maybe if they spend a little more time developing relationships instead of hanging out at the bar, you know, I don't know. What's the saying? It's the cause and effect of all my problems. The cause and the solution of all my problems, alcohol. Alcohol. That's the truest one, right? Right? You get drunk and uh, it causes your problems. And then how do you fix that problem? You go get drunk and forget your problems, you know? And uh, it's it, a bad it one. Deal with. Warren Buffett said there's three things that will ruin a man. Liquor, ladies, and leverage. And uh, I, don't think, uh, I don't think he was wrong with that information. Yeah, 100% truth. That's 100%. Huh? Yeah, I think we all battled with that. I said leverage. I know I got my ass handed to me. I own 37 doors and... Yeah. Down eight when everything crashed and I got my ass handed to me and uh, you know still still basically not that long ago dug out of that and then uh, you know there's always struggles with relationships with the lady and then uh, you know it's uh, the alcohol and we all know <laughs> we all know that goes <laughs> it's better off without it man yeah Life's a lot. all right brother I gotta bug out I got uh, I gotta run and get some errands knocked out and then uh, I've got seven o'clock I gotta get to because. Uh, you know, I see my boys in the afternoon. That means work in the evenings. I'm going to get my ride, and i got about seven miles left, and i got to go to a birthday party for my niece. So, All right, pal. Good. Keep up those mornings, and I'll uh, I'll see you in uh, in a few weeks when you get down to Texas. All right, brother? Looking forward to it. Right, Take right. care, my brother. Right, Bye. All right. That was a treat there. we got Sammy Smith on here. We haven't been live together in a while, and it's a, a pleasure. So, all right. We're burning through time. I gotta get on my ride. Let's jump on here. We'll look at old glory. We got our prayers in for the day. Good Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to keep growing every day. Help us to be a role model for our children. Help us to remember that everything we do, that they're watching. Help us to be the best parents we can be, be the best people we can be for the world, and help us all change the world. I mean, Buddy Sammy says, we want to leave a legacy here. We want to change the world and make our names mean something to uh, people, knowing that we left the world a better place. Amen. So... Appreciate you all. Appreciate you watching. Uh, Sammy, pleasure to have you on here again. Uh, been a busy day in real estate, so we're going to go finish this bike ride. It's my niece's birthday. we got birthday cake going on soon. I uh, still don't eat dinner yet. This is my life, but I uh, wouldn't trade it for the world. So all good stuff. Have a great Tuesday night. We will see you tomorrow, hump day, Wednesday. And uh, we're getting closer to the end of this journey, so uh, we got to see how this is going to finish up. See if I can finish this thing out. All right, everyone. Appreciate you all. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you're making the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go. Go inspire someone. Love you all. Have a great night.